But this Good. morning, it was a rough go of it. We'll start you off with the temperatures, because anytime you're talking about freezing rain, a degree or two makes a huge difference. And you notice many locations to the north have temperatures that are hovering still right around the freezing mark, the below freezing in Peru, as well as Fishers. We're south of Interstate 70, up to 40 degrees now in Bedford, and 37 in Bloomington. So the good news is this warmer air will continue to work its way to the north. The bad news is it's going to be a gradual process for those of you to uh, the north. So you notice where I have this line drawn. That's where temperatures are above freezing, and we're dealing with just plain old rain. To the north, though, we're still mixing in a little bit of freezing rain, so slick spots will still be possible in Noblesville, over towards Anderson into Muncie up towards Hartford City and then back off to the west a few very light rain slash freezing rain showers near Frankfurt as well as Tipton to the south though this is plain old rain right now certainly good news it's a cold rain but nonetheless not dealing with the freezing rain any longer in Shelbyville as well as Greensburg and then pockets of moderate rainfall through Bloomfield as well as Bloomington to Martinsville and as we slide to the north uh, light but steady rain in the metro area back to the west through the Greencastle area up towards Crawfordsville but again eventually the warmer air will win out for everybody here throughout the afternoon hours as we continue to see uh, this rain make its way through. And the back edge of what we'll call the steady rain is just now making its way into western Indiana. So we only really deal with these scattered rain showers off and on throughout the afternoon hours for only a little while longer. So I think the afternoon hours will be a little drier than what we saw in the morning and everything will just be plain old rain and not the freezing aspect of it for your evening drive. Uh, but some rain showers continue down to the south as we head into the late hours this evening. So our normal high is 46. We do push into the 40s later on this afternoon down towards Bloomington and Bedford. Not out of the question. You could make a run at 50 degrees here. And as we head into the evening hours, at that point, I think we'll take most of the rain out of the forecast. But with the rain that is coming down, plus the snow that'll be melting with these warmer temperatures, uh, we are concerned a little bit about local flooding. You heard Julie mention the storm drains a little earlier. Uh, certainly clear that out so this water has somewhere to go. I think we do have the potential maybe for some localized urban flooding here across across the area. Let's fast forward to tomorrow morning now. 8.30, most of your drive is just fine, but there is a sneaky storm system down to our south that is going to bring some snow into southern sections of Indiana throughout the afternoon hours tomorrow. Models are now pushing this a little further to the south, but the trend all winter long during the day of the event is to sneak it to the north. So I'm not completely sold that we will not get into some accumulating snow from Bloomington to the north. And you can see this computer model has that very sharp cutoff in snow accumulation. But I think from Bloomington to Bedford over towards Seymour and Columbus. Not out of the question tomorrow afternoon. You could see one to three inches of snow as we come to the north. Maybe some snow showers in Greencastle as well as the metro area. Uh, but for the most part, I think we should dodge this snowstorm from I-70 to the north. But if you, again, are in southern Indiana or heading in that direction, you are going to run into some issues during the afternoon and evening commute for your Wednesday. It's very, very cold on Thursday with a high of only 15. We start Friday off sub-zero, but then a nice warm-up Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Temperatures will be in the 40s with plenty of sunshine, so we'll melt the snow away. And I mentioned warmer temperatures next week. It looks like maybe we could be in the 50s by the middle half of next week, but first things first, we have some snow to get through tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to be fixed on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, let's bring on that spring-like weather. Thank yeah. you, Todd.